Right, in this video I'm going to show you a great technique to keep track of exactly what's going on in your videos without having to play them all the time. Now this is done using something called markers. Now they're exactly what they sound like. They're ways of marking the timeline and giving it some sort of note so you know exactly what happened at that point. This is especially good if you're coming back at a later date to add some sort of effect or maybe a background change, something like that, even if you're adding some audio at a certain point. It helps if you've got markers rather than having to listen through the whole thing again to find out where that point was. Now by default you won't have the markers showing up and there's several ways to get these actually put onto your workspace. The first one is to use this button over here, click on the drop down arrow and you can actually put it to show marker view. Now when I click this, it adds this extra part here which will show all the different markers. You'll see how this works shortly. Another way to do it is Control and M and the other way to do it is to just add markers as you go along. In order to show you the way you can do it while you're actually listening to the track, I'm going to hide this again by just clicking on here and clicking on hide marker view. So now it's gone. Now the shortcut key for this when you're actually listening is the M key. So I'm going to hit play now by pressing spacebar and then I'm going to hit the M key when I get to a point that I want to mark to show you what the next part of this process is. So here we go, hitting space. Hey there, welcome to Access All Areas Green. And I've hit the M key because I've mentioned the name of the product. Now this is just for testing purposes and to show you how it works. This might not actually be a place I put a marker in a normal situation but it's a lot easier to show you at the beginning of this than listen to the whole thing through. Now as you can see the same marker bar that we got by hitting Ctrl and M or using that button has popped up. It's paused the video and it's waiting for us to input a name for the marker. Now if you're just doing this for generic marks you can literally hit return and it will name it marker 1, marker 2, marker 3 and so on. But if you want to give it some sort of meaningful name then this is when you do it. So what I'm going to do is type in the fact I mentioned the product name so that I know exactly why I hit this marker in the first place. So there we go, mention product name and hit return. Now I've got a marker on there that means I can come back at a later date and I can actually put whatever it is I wanted to put into this part of the timeline. Now if I hit space again, screen it will carry on playing. Thank you for joining me on the inside of this membership. And I can hit M again and it will come up with another marker and so on and so on. Now it's not just about marking where they are. It also means you can put the playhead directly to that point just by pressing Ctrl and the square bracket either backwards or forwards. So if I was further on in this video, which I'll do now by clicking inside the playhead bar here, I can now go back to any marker I've done by pressing Ctrl and the square bracket and it will hop back to the last one and likewise back to the first one and back to the second one. All I'm doing is I'm marking places in the timeline to make it much easier for me later on. Now you'll probably have noticed that what's happened is a green diamond has appeared just here to mark the fact that this is a marker. As well as the keyboard shortcut I've just told you, I can also just double click on it to take the head directly to that place. If I want to rename it, I can click it to highlight it, and then hit the F2 key and I can type in a new name. So I'll rename this product name and hit return. Now when you've got a green diamond this means it is an overall timer marker and it's actually attached to the main timeline not the actual video timeline. Now to explain that a little bit better than that what I mean is if I now go and move the video below it like this I'll just highlight those so I can drag them and I move them you'll see that the marker actually stays where it was so this is actually attached to the timeline itself not the video clip. Now that's fine if you're trying to mark an actual time within your video, but if you want it to be attached to the actual footage, let me just put this back where it was, then what you can do is you can actually click in this little bar above the actual video footage to turn it into a blue diamond. Now this blue diamond is actually attached to the video clip, not the timeline in general. So now when I move this, the marker moves with it. Now for the sort of edits I've just shown you, this is exactly what you want to do. So make sure you turn it into a blue diamond rather than a green diamond, otherwise when you're cutting and editing, the markers will stay where they were but be in the wrong place. When you get into more involved editing and you've got all sorts of layers going on with audio and different clips and different cuts, this is a brilliant way to make sure you keep on top of all the things you want to do. While you're listening, if you hear something you think, ah, that's something I need to come back to, hit the M key, name your marker, and then you can come back to it later. 
Make sure it's attached to the actual video clip by clicking in that tiny little bar above, just here. And then you can come back to it later. This saves having to remember where everything is, especially when you're getting more and more involved with bigger edits. So hopefully you can see how this can really help when you're putting together your videos. It saves you having to remember all of that information all at once. It's something that not everyone uses within Camtasia, which is silly because it makes it so much easier. So I'm glad that I've been able to share this with you and I'll speak to you in the next video. Yeah.